these days living in Sri Lanka is like a roller coaster ride because uh, we have power cuts. So far, till today, we only had two hours power cut per day. But I heard from today onwards, we have four hours of power cut per day. It's ridiculous. And also, we don't have fuel. As a result, we have a huge line in front of a gas station to get fuel. So it's simple if then formula. We don't have a dollar, so we can buy fuel. So we don't have fuel, so we don't have power. It's, it's ridiculous. Anyway, uh, things happen. Today, I spend my power cut time in a little productive way because um, I had a special meeting at Virtusa today with the leadership. So I came for that. So that at least I could use that time in a little productive for today. I don't know what to do tomorrow. Anyway, I'm always getting questions, but I got an interesting question to answer. I get questions all the time. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube comment. Some questions I see months later. I'm so sorry about it. And some questions are very interesting. This is one of like that. So what is your opinion about handling failures? My opinion, failures, something everyone must experience if you want to success, because if you don't know the sad and the pain and the depress of failure, you never experience, you never know the happiness of being success because you don't know the pain of failure. So everyone must experience failures. So how to handle it? Failures happen, right? If you're worrying about it, if you're thinking about it, it doesn't help. It doesn't change because you failed already. So what I do is, I analyze that and I see what happened and I see what I could have done better and then I move on because I don't carry failure with me. It's no point because it's already done. It's already happened. So what I do is what you should do is analyze it and learn a lesson and move on. Same time, you should have practice and train enough not to fail because the cost of failure is depend on who you are. The failure what janitor would do is less uh, compared to the failure would the software engineer and architect would do. But if the doctor made a failure, it cost a life and it's, oh, it's someone's life-wide pain, right? If the pilot's failure, it's a cost of hundreds of lives and pain for thousands of people, right? So therefore, what is the cost of failure is depend on who you are and what you do. But if you fail, that happened and you should make sure you don't fail again. You don't do the same mistake again. So then what other people might think about us? Yeah, you can change it. As I told before, you can change it. Doesn't matter you do something right hundred times, thousand times. If you do one time wrong, they're not going to talk about that hundred or thousand times. They're going to talk about that one time. That's not your problem. That's their problem. Let them to handle it and you learn a lesson and move on. That is my opinion about handling failures. But don't fail.